Millions of businesses and people were affected when Amazon Web Services went down this week. Over 100,000 organizations have reportedly been exposed to a data breach by hackers who targeted a CRM software called Salesforce. These are reminders of what can happen in a world that runs on cloud software when global systems falter or worse, someone breaks in and holds you to ransom. Internet users around the world trying to access a range of different online services experienced major disruptions on Monday. That's because there was a major outage at an Amazon Web Services uh, data center on the east coast of the US. A major outage at Amazon Web Services, or AWS, brought down some of the world's most popular websites and apps earlier this week. Now, according to outage tracking website Down Detector, Amazon Web Services, or AWS, suffered a major outage on Monday, affecting thousands of users and causing widespread disruptions across the outage paralyzed digital services and disrupted businesses across the globe. The massive failure highlighted just how much of the internet depends on one company, Amazon, and its cloud services. The outage began early Monday in the US, in a region known as US East One. This is Amazon's oldest and most critical data hub based in Virginia. Now, Amazon Web Services, or AWS, provides the backend computing infrastructure for a range of uh, companies that provide online services. And in experts say that just shows how the world, the online world, is so dependent on only a handful of these uh, online infrastructure companies to provide their services. Amazon said that the fault was traced to a problem in its domain name system, also known as DNS. Now, DNS is the part of the internet that translates web addresses into numeric codes that computers use to connect to servers. The failure had a ripple effect across the world. Social media and messaging platforms like Snapchat, WhatsApp, Signal and Reddit stopped working for hours and that left millions of users unable to send messages or load content. Banking and trading services also took a hit. Even Amazon's own products were caught in the meltdown. Services gradually came back online, though some remained slow as systems cleared backlogs. It turned out to be one of the biggest internet failures since last year's crowd strike incident that hobbled technology systems in hospitals, banks and airports. To understand what went wrong, a DNS outage, although invisible to most users, is akin to a phone book breaking down. When you type in the URL of a website, your device relies on a global directory to find its numeric address. If that directory were to fail, the signal is lost even if the website itself is running just fine. And since Amazon's web services, which is cloud infrastructure, powers a huge portion of the internet that includes government websites, universities and global companies, a glitch in its network can have cascading effects worldwide. Now, technology and cybersecurity experts have said that this outage is much more than a temporary inconvenience. It serves as a warning. We are so reliant now on being online and a lot of these companies are now forcing us to do a lot of our transactions online. So they're removing other options like going into the bank to make payments. Um, you know, tele Telephony banking is also quite difficult to do nowadays. So the more the companies push us towards using the banking apps and these, these sort of services online, the harder it gets for us then when these apps and these services don't work. An outage isn't the worst eventuality when it comes to a global SaaS provider. Case in point, Salesforce. In 2023, the customer relationship management platform suffered a major data breach that exposed details of over 150,000 clients around the world. But earlier this month, a hacker group made headlines when it claimed to have stolen customer records from companies using cloud-based databases hosted by Salesforce. That story is developing as we speak. Now, both the Salesforce and the AWS incidents represent the dangers of centralization of digital services, infrastructure, and power. And how a few big tech giants like Amazon, Microsoft, and Google form the backbone of the digital economy. 
if banking, telecom and government services can all be affected by a single cloud infrastructure failure, then that exposes a concentration of risk that could have international security implications. Such incidents remind governments and companies around the world to build backup systems. The AWS outage showed just how quickly the digital world can come to a halt when one critical piece of the internet's infrastructure goes dark.